every line I write is a fatality. Just when is my mentality? Al Davis would have drafted me. Hit him with the wrath of. Yo, what is up, YouTube? And what is up, Raider Nation? Welcome back to some more Raider. Thanks to those who have supported me um, so far, you know, just for me to start. Uh, well, today I'm just going to uh, recap on the draft real quickly because I know there's a lot of you guys that have already done it. Um, I'm going to just try to skip through it and try to catch up with the rest of you Raider bloggers. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. This year's draft, I will give it a solid A since I've been became a Raider fan um this is probably the best draft uh the best draft I've ever experienced top to bottom I mean going back to those days at first to Marcus Russell Darren McFadden Michael Huff all those first round picks Rolando McClain I, I, I would have thought that those would have panned out for us in the future and obviously those guys aren't on our team anymore but this year this year, 2014, marks a new era. I, I believe we're going to do big things this year, especially with the picks that we have. And uh, Reggie McKenzie, man, shout out to you guys. You guys are staying faithful to the board. And just, uh, yeah, um, let's get into this. First of all, the first round, uh, my predictions, honestly, like everybody else's, I was thinking we were going to take Sammy Watkins. I would have loved to have Sammy Watkins on our team. But it just didn't pan out that way. Uh, at first, I thought um, the Rams were going to take him. And the Browns, you guys already know that. When the Jaguars took Blake Bortles, that gave us a way to um, pick up either Sammy Watkins or Khalil Mack. It was just up to the Browns. Out of nowhere, <clears throat> Buffalo Bills trade up to get Sammy Watkins. I was shocked. I wasn't even here to watch it. I, I was coming home from work. I was driving. And I was keeping up. I was trying to keep up with who got who and I was trying to get home as fast as possible to see who we got but then when I seen Watkins I was like damn I can't believe we didn't get Watkins honestly I wasn't even thinking about Khalil Mack I forgot all about it because I was stunned I forgot that Khalil Mack was still on the board I was driving home I got a notification and I seen we got Khalil Mack and I was like I forgot all about him this is a big pickup for us, Khalil Mack. Him and Seal Moore on the outside. Now that, that looks like a big future for us if they could both pan out for us. You've seen what Seal Moore did last year and hopefully see what Khalil Mack does this year. I see, hey, if they play well, you might as well call them the Smash Brothers. But yeah, they gotta earn their name. And Khalil Mack, I believe is gonna be a big impact player for us this year. Hopefully to see a, Hopefully see him get some sacks, you know. Uh, Bleacher Report has him getting 11 sacks for us, which I wish would be true. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what's up. Khalil Mack, welcome to the Raider Nation. Silver and Mack time, baby. All right, as we move on to the second round with the 36th overall pick, we pick up Derek Carr. Derek Carr. Man, I was excited. This is one of the picks I got right that I was like, we have to get him. If the Texans don't get him, we have to take him. Sure enough, the Texans passed up on him and got Swafilo, and I was happy. I knew if they if he got past um, the Texans, that we had a good chance of picking him up. So our turn came up, and we picked up Derek Carr from Fresno State. Man, welcome to the Raider Nation. He looks like he wants to be a part of this Raider Nation. Um, my opinions, yeah, I, I think he's going to sit out for the first year, for his first rookie season, and probably come next year or the year after, he's going to be our future. I believe he'll do big things, kind of like the Aaron Rodgers situation in uh, Green Bay. Reggie McKenzie came from Green Bay, you know, they worked with Aaron Rodgers and um, had him sit a couple of years after Brett Favre left. He came up and he showed up for the Green Bay Packers, and that's what we hope Derek Carr can do for us the Raider Nation. It's been 12 years since uh, we had a stable quarterback. We've been going from quarterback to quarterback. I honestly thought that Terrell Pryor was going to be uh, a future, but it just didn't pan out for us, and uh, good luck in uh, Seattle. But yeah, Derek Carr, that solidifies our quarterback needs. Hopefully he can pan out for us. And yeah, in the third round, the 81st overall pick, we traded back with the Dolphins 
and we acquired an extra fourth round pick. So with this 81st pick, we picked up Gabe Jackson from Mississippi State, uh, offensive guard. Um, I didn't know him. I didn't know him at all. Then I seen uh, I seen them put up highlights of him right after. I think I was watching it on ESPN. So I seen on ESPN. I seen some of his highlights. He's pretty good. He's a solid uh, guard. I seen one of uh, his highlights against the first uh, overall pick, Jadavion Clowney. He, he put him on his butt. This nigga Jadavion Clowney couldn't get past him, which is a big thing. And I was like, since I seen that highlight, I was like, welcome to the Raider Nation. We can use that. We can use that um, to put some depth into our uh, into our offensive line. All right, moving on. Round four with the 107th overall pick. Uh, we pick up Justin Ellis from Louisiana Tech. They call him Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean Ellis. This is a big dude. Uh, 300 plus pounds. Once was uh, 390. Big dude. I, lo I love him in his highlights. This dude can get to the ball fast. And he brings him down easily with ease. Yeah, welcome to the Raider Nation, Justin. I uh, hope to see you uh, pan out. And I believe he's going to be he's gonna be an impact player this year. You have a... Uh, Antonio Smith, uh, Pat Sims, and then you could plug him in and probably Stacy McGee. But this guy looks like he could be a big uh, big impact for us in the Raider Nation this year. All right, moving on to um, the second fourth round pick that we have from the Dolphins. Uh, the 116th overall pick, um, Keith McGill, cornerback out of Utah. This guy, I also didn't know him at the time. But seeing his highlights, everybody says he has that Richard Sherman uh, body build. So he, he's tall. He's uh, 6'3", 211 pounds, uh, tall cornerback. If he can um, work on his mechanics, work on his covering skills, he'll, he'll be big for us Raiders. And hopefully we could have a Richard Sherman on our team, man. That would be big for us. That would be big for us. And we, we didn't have a fifth-round pick or a sixth-round pick. We didn't pick till round seven. With the 219th overall pick in the seventh round, we pick up a cornerback, Travis Carey from Ohio. Didn't know him, but obviously I think we, we might be using him in uh, returns, punt returns. Uh, he specializes in that. Yeah, by this point, I was thinking we were going to pick up a wide receiver, um, probably Brandon Coleman. I've seen his highlights. Big dude, big wide receiver. I thought we could use him, but I guess we didn't. So we picked up TJ Carey, had heart problems just like DJ Hayden. So we'll see what they can do. Hopefully he can pan out as well. TJ and DJ, you know what I mean? Nah, nah, okay. Now moving on to our 235th pick in the seventh round. We pick up Shelby Harris, defensive end uh, from Illinois State. Yeah, he's pretty much a, a depth guy. Um, Cause we have so many defensive ends. So we'll, we'll see. While well, I was listening to the Raiders roundtable from Mikey Raider and the, the boys, um, you guys uh, expecting him to be cut out of all of them, which it, it, it could be possible, you know. We will see. Hopefully he, he can uh, improve and uh, be an impact player for us as well. All right. And the last pick of our draft. And I was like, come on, Raiders. Can we get a wide receiver at least? A wide receiver just for us. But then, thinking about it, uh, I believe Reggie McKenzie wasn't looking for a wide receiver at this point. You know, there's no wide receiver you can automatically pick and have be your uh, first option. So they go on ahead and pick up strong safety Jonathan Dowling from Western Kentucky. Yeah, I, I seen his highlights. This dude is a big hitter. I believe he still needs a build. Get some muscles on him. You know what I mean? You want to be that Cam Chancellor? Hopefully, uh, you know. He pans out. I heard he, he could be a, a sleeper as well as Justin Ellis. Um, but Jonathan Dowling, man, look out for him. This dude hopefully put some hits, hopefully on the Niners. <clears throat> but yeah, um, overall, our draft, I give it a solid A. It's been a while since we had a, a great draft like this. Um, hopefully it pans out. You obviously can see that uh, most of our picks went to the defensive side. Hopefully the, the Raiders get that nastiness back. As you guys already know, the Raiders have already signed a uh, first round overall pick, Khalil Mack, to a four year, 18 mil, million dollar contract. Congratulations. And also the Raiders have uh, signed 11 
undrafted free agents. All right, here are the undrafted free agents. Here we go. First, the uh, running back out of Notre Dame, we signed George Atkinson III. Obviously, you guys know his uh, his father, who's a Raider legend. So yeah, he's a running back. Also, wide receiver DJ Coles out of Virginia Tech. Another depth for the wide receiver spot. It's good that we picked up some wide receivers, as well as Mike Davis from Texas. Um, I have a good feeling about Mike Davis. Uh, he looks like a pretty good wide receiver, so hopefully they, they can uh, pan out. We also picked up another wide receiver, uh, Seth Roberts. Yes, yeah, Seth Roberts out of uh, West Alabama. West Alabama. So, uh, yeah, big ups to you. Carlos Field, linebacker out of winston Saline State. Don't know much about him. See what your future is with us. We also picked up Noel, Noel Rigsby, uh, if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, another wide receiver from San Jose State. So he played with David Fells. He uh, played against uh, Derek Carr. So we'll see how he pans out and see if Derek Carr knows him. Dan Kistler, uh, tackle out of Montana. Not a big name. Uh, probably just uh, for uh, depth. Um, we also picked up Earl Ladson. Earl Ladson. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. I'm not. Can't read it that well. Um, another tackle out of uh, Delaware. So these guys are uh, picking up tackles and uh, extra depth for uh, the Raiders. As we move on, Jake Murphy, tight end, Utah. He also went to school with Keith McGill. So uh, yeah, they, they might know each other. Uh, we also picked up Scott Simonson, tight end from Assumption. Assumption? I, I don't I don't know. I have no clue about that. And another Utah player, a uh, fullback, Carl Williams. So all these guys, you know, welcome to the Raider Nation. Uh, hope your guys' future is big with us, uh, whether you guys are on the practice squad, impact player, or, um, you know, just trying out for us. Um, yeah, so that's our undrafted free agents that we picked up. Wow, I just found this out. <laughs> Breaking news. I just read it right now. Um, Bleacher Report, they've uh, reported that uh, Antonio Smith, defensive tackle, and you guys know him as a ninja assassin, He's gonna need surgery. He's, he's just got injured in some weight room uh, mishaps during the office season. So this is a bummer. So about the Ellis thing, he might start. We, we will see because it looks like Antonio Smith is gonna miss some time. Uh, best of luck to him. Hopefully uh, he uh, gets well soon and gets back on that field and plays for the Raider Nation. But yeah, I just thought I'd bring that, that little um, info to you guys. And now before I go, I read uh, a couple of days ago that Andre Johnson wants to leave the Houston Texans. Could he come to the Raiders and play for Matt Schaub? I don't know. Uh, he's good friends with Matt Schaub. Matt Schaub was basically the only stable quarterback the Texans had these past years. Other than last year, I know they had their ups and downs, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, give me your thoughts on that, uh, Raider Nation. Um, that'll make up for the... The Sean Jackson uh, debacle, um, and not drafting wide receiver in the draft. So, if we could pick up Andre Johnson, that'd be great. Um, so yeah, all right, Raider Nation. <clears throat> I hope you guys uh, love this video, and uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please subscribe for upcoming uh, news and reports and updates. Please subscribe. Please like my page. Share my videos. Hopefully, I can get out to you guys, Raider Nation, as many Raider fans out there. Peace out, boy. M A C C C. Return of the Mac. Come on. Return of the Mac.